Today we're going to do a review over sorting. Sorting is to arrange a group separate according to type in class. Our example today is today's Jimmy's birthday. Jimmy's mom wants to know how many girls and boys are in Jimmy's class. Jim's te Jimmy's teacher needs to separate the class into two groups. What are two groups that I can separate into class? Yes, Russell. Boys and girls. Good job. Thank you. What tool can we use to help with sorting? A plate. That would be a good idea for your sorting material. But for this, I'm going to show you how to use an organization map. We have how many groups? Two. Two. And what are groups? Boys and girls. We have boys. And we have girls. You guys look at our beautiful picture up here. Can we count how many girls we have? One. One, two, three, four. So count when I do my tallies. One, two, three, four. All right, Beth, I'd like you to be involved in this. So how many boys do we have? One, two, three. Count when I do my tallies. One, two, three. So now we have our tallies and all we have to do is count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And that's it. My next thing that I would like you to do is to think about how many ways can we sort your crowns in a crown box. Does anybody have any ideas? By color. We can do by color. Any other ideas? Size. By size. These are a few choices that you can have. Up here it shows that you have red, blue, yellow, and green. So you can sort it by that, or it has different size charts that you can use depending on how many, how big your crayon box is. Thank you.